Hi again, welcome to another video and on the workbench today we have a Honda HRD 536 roller lawnmower. You can see it's a roller just there. Um, and that's the main problem wrong with it, I was told, um, the roller system had seized. So we'll be having a look at that. You can see it's got no front wheels. Uh, also the carburetor is missing as you can see. Well, I hope you can see it's there um, and a few various other little bits are missing. I've got a grass bag for it. It didn't come with one, but I've got one. I've got um, all the spares I think I need. Uh, it's had a quite a hard life, but the deck looks good underneath. There's no chips or anything out of it. Doesn't look to be any damage on the deck at all. Uh, and actually, I think it'll just wipe over and look quite a um, respectable lawnmower. It's just that drive has got to come off. That's probably where I'll go first. Um, and then just work my way through after that, after I fix the drive. If I can get it apart, that is. If it's seized, it might be difficult. So let's see the year of it for a start. It did look earlier, but I forgot now. You can see on the plate, where are we? 2004. So what, it's an 18 year old lawnmower, but um, I still I still think they make this model and um, yeah, much the same. I don't think they've really changed it. They are the sort of the Honda Pro range and yeah, they haven't really changed them much over the years. Uh, the sticker is um, peeled off, which is a little bit of a shame because it's nice when the sticker is intact. I'll either do away with that altogether or see if I can get one. Uh, yeah, we'll just see about that. It's not important at the moment anyway. Uh, yeah, the car's missing. I have got the... Um, air filter housing so that's good also the governor springs are on it uh the choke one's not but i've got one of them in the drawer fuel lines on it so it shouldn't be too hard to get um find the bits i need for that and then get all that back together and usually these engines are pretty bulletproof really so i doubt there's too much wrong with it there never usually is it's a gxv 160 uh yeah and they don't really go wrong much we will just check the oil I have just tipped it on the side when I was getting it on the bench. But yeah, it's got oil in it, so yeah. I think the engine will probably be okay. The cables all look good. Someone's done something there, which I think is to keep the cables together. I think that's all, and it's with some sort of garden string. Um, yeah, so yeah, people just use whatever's on hand, and as the mower's gonna be in a garden, if the cables are flapping or whatever, they'll use whatever there is. On this occasion, it's some thick garden string. You can see the previous owner really did look after it underneath. <laughs> look at that, the state of it. it hasn't been cleaned for I don't know how long. That is a right old mess. Uh, but yeah, it'll just um, clean all off okay. And actually, the blade is worn, because being they're new, they're a lot sort of flatter to there, but it's been sharpened. I can feel there's an edge on it, so it wasn't sharpened too long ago. Uh, hopefully, the Blade brake clutch is all okay, so I haven't got to do any work in there. I will blow it all out and make sure all that rubbish is out. So what I'm gonna do off camera, I'll take them two covers off and I'll probably just unloosen them bolts. And then you can see me getting it off of the mower. But actually I have got to just take that off there. Sometimes I have to get a drawer on them just to pull it off, but we'll see how it goes. So I'll bring you back in when I've took them end caps off covered off and undone that and that. That bolt there now is loose. The one that's on the other side in the same position I've took out altogether. I've got to get a spring off. So what I'm gonna to hope to do is pull that down there. And then that should loosen it quite a lot. Oh, totally. There, so that gets that out. So I'll just put that to the side. Uh, now I can undo that. The only problem is I've got it hanging over the side of the bench and it's gonna well, it could fall out so that comes out uh, now uh, I've got to undo that so I have loosened this one I'll just get it out I sometimes have to draw these off with a little drawer or puller um, so We'll do that in a second. This has got to come off here. I've already undone the, the bolt that holds that. They're a bit awkward to get out. Sometimes. That's 
out let's so get it over there because that's the shaft there which that slides out as i pull the gearbox out that will slide out so where are we i think what i'll do is pull that off but up here i have disconnected the uh, throttle cable so i'll take that off so that can come out with the with the drive yeah i should just pull out now so sometimes i can get a screwdriver under and just lever this off and it might come off don't think it's going to on there today so i'll just get me puller I've got the puller all set up now to fit in there so if i just pull that off see how easy it comes off when you've got the puller and actually i should be enough to clear it i'll just put that to the side just remember how that goes it goes like that with that sort of split bit in there now it should put that there. Oh, that end just fell off, but that doesn't matter. Oh, there is one other bit as well, and I'm hoping I can get it out without taking that off, and I can. It's like a little bracket, but I think I've managed to do it. Yeah. So we'll just put that on there. So there we have it, the drive is out. And actually, turning now, so I think I might have got quite lucky. I think it's seized there, so it could be that bearing in there that's seized. So we'll take it to the bench anyway, give it a good clean up, and then whatever I shall replace the dog clutch in this because I just, every one I take off, I do that on because um, otherwise you get that juddering because it obviously won't be new in there. So I'll put a new one in. I think I've got a new one in the drawer for this, this model. So yeah, I'll have a look. But anyway, you'll see me on the bench next and I'll see if I can make it turn nice and freely. I'm pleased about that because I think um, I only have to free it on that end. Now I've got this roller drive system on the bench. I need to get it apart. Uh, these can be a pain to get off, but I think there is a little bit of movement on this roller. Um, obviously the other end is C, so I'm gonna have to see what's what there, but I've only just put a little bit of this on, but I'm hoping this side is gonna come off quite easy. We'll have a little go. And it has. So that's a result. You can see how gunky that is in there. That's where that piece there, where the hole is in the bottom. That's a lot of the reason that it's got like that. Um, turn it the other way up. There was some soil and that in there. But anyway, that one's off. So that's a, a result. Now, this can come off. So it is pretty rusty in there. And I've run out of trusty WD. Uh, I've got some little cans around. I've got actually one of these, so I'll go with that at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to just give that a bit of a bit of a scrub. I'm going to give it some more of this all around because I need that little circlip off there. You can't see it very well from where you are, but there's a little circlip on there, and hopefully that will come out okay. But I can't seem to find the hole. Oh, yeah, there's one. There we go. Yeah, that's come off. Uh, there's a washer, which is rusted in place. That is an important thing people don't do, and it's a hole in that side bit there. That was uh, replaced or even welded up, which I shall do. Uh, that would stop the muck getting in there. You've got to think, when these are running in the garden, the amount of sort of dust and grass and everything that's being kicked up as it's going along this is rusty on here but it's coming off yeah that was a bit rusted on there you can see all the gunk and that 
but yeah i want to reuse that if possible so now i'm going to see if this gearbox comes off that shaft i'm hoping that gearbox is going to slide along there but as you can see it's pretty rusty but i think what i'm going to do is put the nut back on on the end you can just see it there and then try and hold it and tap it at the same time just to see if i can sort of tap it through so i'll try and set you up the best i can for you to see me do that i've lubed up a little bit more there and i think the best approach is and i have had a little go is i've put the nut back on and i'm going to hold it up in the air by the gearbox there and tap it through um or try to i think i've moved it slightly but not a lot and if i leave the nut on it sh the thread should be okay on the end it should be a yeah might be a little bit tight but it'll wind back on and cut the threads okay so i think that's the best approach so i'm going to just put this down sort of on lower down and give it a whack on the end and see if that starts to work through there that's what i needed to do that shaft to come out of the main gearbox bit so let's have a go i'm going to give this a go i need to whack it quite hard i think Yeah, we've got a bit more movement. I don't think it's going to be an easy task, and I'm worried about that nut a little bit on the end. But I'm just think I'm just going to have to go for it. Yeah, we've done it. So that wasn't really, really hard. It could have been a lot harder. Get that back on the bench. Now I'll get a nut off. I've nearly took the nut all the way off. It did get a bit tight, but. As you can see, it's coming off, so no harm done there. I'm just going to, while it's on the bench, and the nut's still on there, just see if I can... I think that'll probably be okay now. That'll probably slip out. Yeah, and it's actually come off the back. If you look at the back, you can see the shafts come out there. So if I do it like that, still a little bit tight. I might have to just put a punch in there just to get the last bit off oh, going but doesn't want to go it easy and um i think that rod is stuck on the other side of that so let's get this rod out first though Yeah, that's out. So uh, there should be a circlip on there. But yeah, we're going to have to look at all of this. If we can get this part off, that's our next job. I've got to remove that roller off. And that could be where I get a bit stuck. But we'll have a go. I've put some WD-40 in there. I haven't really let it soak for long. But I'm just going to give it a gentle tap with a small hammer for a start. Just on that edge. don't want to damage around the roller it might bend a little bit but um that's okay i can straighten that up okay afterwards this is where it does become difficult sometimes so if you actually do decide to take one of these on for someone, bear this in mind, that this is when you could hit a bit of difficulty. But I'm not gonna overdo it because I don't wanna damage that. No more than I have to. If it bevels the edge over a little bit, I'm not worried. I might have to get a slightly bigger hammer, but I haven't got any soft blow hammers. These are all I got, so. That was the reason it was seized. That is seized solid, that bearing. So I can probably free that up and then that will go again. But yeah, this is the, the issue I have at the moment. So I'll have a little think how I'm going to do that. I've just been having to play around with these two screwdrivers, just sort of trying to leave it out rather than tapping it out. And I did hear it make a little noise like it moved and the gap does seem bigger. So I think I'm getting somewhere, but you wouldn't believe it would stick on there like it, like rust welds on there. I've had them a bit of a job before, but if it would come off, it'd be brilliant. 
What you can always do is just turn it round a bit and just go from a slightly different position. There is one other option. That is to go through there with a long rod and bang it off that way. But you do risk damaging that seal there and the bearings. So I don't particularly want to do that. Uh, just off camera, I'm just going to have a little bit more of a look and then I'll be back with you, see if I can manage to do this. I'm not sure how well you can see in there, but right at the back, there's like a circlip and behind the circlip, I don't think you'll be able to see, but it has come off probably about four mil off the shaft like this one. The one the other side it has come off. So we have got movement and we have got a gap there now as well. So we, I knew I was coming off a bit. Um, I'm going to try and lever it a bit more now, see if we can do this. No, still think a bit more levering. Ah, oh, that's promising. Yeah, we're winning. We're nearly out. We are out. Yay, result. At least I've got that out, so the gearbox should be okay. I will take that apart and replace that dog clutch in there, but it feels all right. Let's see if it's working when I put the lever in. That should turn off. Yeah on so the gearbox is off did i do any damage on there to be honest i don't think i did a great deal of damage in there i think you can see that's out a little bit not much i'll just give that a slight grind round and then get it best i can i think that'll go again i'll just get the other roller and match it up with that one if you look there you can see i have beveled it over a little bit there only in one or two places i think that would be good to go again i'm going to go with that so yeah i can see i've done it there a little bit so yeah then rollers are off so it's dismantled that's where i wanted to get to tonight i'll be back on it tomorrow and i'll be cleaning everything up really and getting that gearbox apart and getting that dog clutch in it so i'll be, it'll be a day for me but for you it'll be right now now I'm going to unfree this bearing. It's really, well, seized, really seized. I can't move it at all. I have done the other one already. I'll show you how I did it. Uh, has been soaking with a bit of WD-40 in it, but just look in there when I wipe that off. It's got that bearing seal in there. So what I'm going to have to do is take that out. So I've just got this pig. If I just lift it out. Don't want to damage it because I want to put it back in. So I haven't really damaged it. That should go back in okay. You can see in there how rusty it is and it is sort of sea solid, but probably be okay if I can free them off. So I'm gonna put a bit of WD-40 in it. I might have to use the other one not lot in here. Oh no, there is enough. And then I'll sort of tr just try and work it. It shouldn't take long to move. The other one didn't. I've got some pliers now. And let's see if we can get any movement. The other one did move quite easy, but we haven't got no movement there yet. The other one freed off quick. I will show you that when I'll just bring it over. Let's see. That'll be okay. It's still a little bit stiff, but once it's back on the mower and that gets moving, it's going to be fine because it's 
um, been lubricated underneath that seal now so it'll work fine and it's a tight bearing as well it doesn't feel like it's, there's any play in it so that's what I want that should be all good saves me buying one and fitting one but I need to just do the same with this and if I could just get it to move once you get it to move just a little bit doesn't seem to want to do it much yet got these instead of the pliers so I can sort of grip on the edge of it a bit with these Sure whether we've got any movement or not yet I've left this about a quarter of an hour now and let's see if we've got any movement now yeah see that little bit of movement I don't really want to use these sharp ones on it for very long I'll use these ones if I can now I still think the other ones are going to be the ones at the moment I need to use Hope you can see that moving. It's going, but you've just got to keep working it until you can get a full turn. Once you get a full turn, you'll be all right then. You can just work it more then and then it'll be okay. But getting that full turn and that isn't moving at all well it is moving just a very very little bit at the minute At long last, you've seen I speed it up, but that took me a good, what do you think Laura, a good 10 minutes, quarter of an hour? Yeah. Working it and working it, and now we have it rotating fully. So, yep, I think I've saved that bearing. Uh, I'm not actually going to put the cover back in tonight, I don't think, because what I'm going to probably do, because it's a bit gunky in there, I'm going to let it soak tonight, and then I'm going to blow it out the airline. And just before I put that little cover back on, put some WD on it, but you can see it's still a little bit sticky, but we do have full rotation now. It could be a bit noisy, but you'll never know it's on the roller. Oh, there you go, but it's running quite nice now. No play in it. No, I can't really feel it. You play in it, it's just become seized from either sitting around sitting around I reckon that was the only reason that would have really become seized the whole roll of it looked very rusty so um, yeah I think that's probably was the issue it's just been sat around too long and in the ground and got damp and they've seized so yeah I'm just gonna that's all I'm gonna do now tonight just put a little bit of WD in there and just let it sit in that overnight. I'm happy I've got that free, and that'll be okay now. I've just got to put a little cover back in. Yeah, moving all right. Now it's the next day. I left that soaking in WD-40 all night, and you can see it's moving fine now. So what I'm gonna do now is just put a little bit of WD-40 in there before I put this cover back on. Uh, I could put grease in there, but I just, uh, I'm happy to put WD-40 in here because grease can harden up over time. So I'll just let it soak through. Ideal world, I'd put new bearings in it, but they're all right. I want to get this done. I don't want to have to wait for parts, so. 
happy to go this way so that's all fine uh, it just all hooks in the outside um probably just see it going in but when we get around i sort of get the back of a pick and then just sort of push it in place I think that's about there now. So, yeah, I've uh, done that. Just, yeah, nice and free. Now that's in there, I think I'm going to leave this first part here. Um, but just before I go, got everything together on the bench, all cleaned up and ready to put back together now. So on that one, the larger roller, that's all free, the bearing. You've just seen that one there. That's all free as well and done. Uh, the shaft has had a, a sand down it was pretty rusty and a clean up and i've test fitted that on the gearbox um there's some little roller bearings right in there um and they're all clean and free now they were a bit um rusted up they were as well this was a very rusty crusty uh roller system but it's looking a lot better now i've cleaned up the outside of the gearbox so in part two that's where i'll start take the gearbox apart and get that dog clutch in uh, i've took that piece off already i broke the rusty piece off I'll have a plate over it so when that goes back together um, that will be how it should be so no muck can get in there and yeah that's where we're at so yeah like I said I'm gonna leave the video here so uh, thanks for watching and I'll be along with another video again soon so bye for now